Only 200 days are left for your need 2026. And let me just tell you, my dear friends, at this point of time, you need a solid plan, which is easy to implement and which will tell you how much time you are supposed to give to the each subject, how you are supposed to do the revisions, how you are supposed to go with the problem solving, okay, which will divide each subject in a proper manner, how you are supposed to deal with the difficult portion, how you are supposed to deal with the easy portion. Basically, I'm talking about the grand plan which you need at this point of time so that you can enter the medical college in the upcoming time. It is not possible you go in a random way, in a messy way, without the proper strategy, proper planning. I must say it is impossible for you to enter the medical college or crack the knee. So that's the reason I am coming up with this particular plan, this solid plan. Make sure you smack the like button because a lot of students have used this plan of mine before and they got the maximum and good results and they are right now in the medical college. So that's why, my dear friends, I am telling you, listen to me very, very, very carefully and make sure you smash the like button and follow whatever I say in this particular video. I know a lot of students are out there. They are studying in the batches. So this plan is for all the students, whether you are school going, you are studying inside the batch, whatever it may be. So my dear friends, listen to me very, very, very carefully. First and the foremost thing, how much time for how much time you are supposed to study every single day? Very important. I would say at this point of time, go with 12 hours. For first one, two, and three months, let's go with the 12 hours. I won't, I won't be saying for 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 hours. No, let's go with the 12 hours. And most importantly, there are three things which you need to focus at this point of time when it comes to this plan. First one is target completion. Second one is instant revision. And third one is daily problem solving. Very important. These three things. You must include in this plan, you are good to go, means you are on the, on the right track. Then, my dear friends, we have to categorize the syllabus. I won't be saying you categorize the syllabus in easy, difficult, I'm, oh, sorry, uh, in more, uh, high weightage, moderate weightage, and less weightage. Because in the last question paper, last year question paper, me 2025, we saw that questions were distributed evenly from every single chapter. So that's why we won't be following that strategy right now. What I'm saying is that categorize the syllabus in easy, moderate and a difficult portion. OK, so first, first, we will start the day with the difficult portion that I'll be telling you after some time. And every single day we will be dividing it in two portions. OK, so the first portion covers your classes. You are studying in a batch. You'll have to study. OK, you'll have to cover the classes. So that is the first portion. OK, six hours. Like for physics, two hours, chemistry, two hours, biology, two hours. This is the class. Usually in every single batch, you have the two to hour classes. Then for self-study, I'm keeping six hours. Now, my dear friends, first portion of the day for six hours, you'll have you, that, you know, you just have to sit inside the batch and learn and take the notes. And second one, that is self-study. This self-study, you'll have to distribute or divide in three sessions, physics, chemistry, and biology. And every session duration must be one hour and 30 minutes. OK, now, my dear friends, let's talk about the session one. Session one must be the difficult portion. Let's suppose if there is a student, he feels that for me, physics is difficult because maximum students face physics. They consider physics as a difficult subject. So physics is the portion which you will be starting with if you feel it is difficult for you. What is the first thing you guys are supposed to do in this one? Revise the lecture notes. Whatever you have studied inside the batch that day, you will have to revise that. It will hardly take 10 to 15 minutes. I don't think it will take more than that. Just 10 to 15 minutes or I would say even though less than 10 minutes it can. Then I would say when it comes to the NCRT reading, not mandatory for physics, it is for inorganic chemistry, organic chemistry and biology. For physics, you will have to start with the chapter. You will have to start with the chapter over here properly, properly, a dedicated chapter, a difficult chapter, you'll have to start with, okay? And you will have to start studying. You'll have, what is the first thing? You'll have to revise the lecture notes, whatever you have studied that day in that particular subject. Then you will have to basically, then you'll have to basically start a chapter, new chapter, proper chapter. And that chapter, first you'll have to cover the concepts, okay? Okay? And then my dear friends, we say, MCQs means if you are studying, let's suppose Coulomb's law, what are the different variety of questions that can be asked from the Coulomb's law? You will have to basically follow those MCQs. And then my dear friends, we say previous year questions. How many previous year questions have been asked on the Coulomb's law? You'll have to follow that. 
NCRT questions like in-text examples and exercise. And what I can recommend you for this is an academy module, which contains all the previous year questions, NCRT questions, and, and variety of problem solving uh, problems in on a particular topic. Then my dear friends, afterwards, I would say instant revision. Whatever you have studied for one hour and 30 minutes, you'll have to go with the instant revision of 15 minutes. And then 15 minutes break. So this is, you are done with the session. First plus instant revision plus break. Then my dear friends, you'll be starting with the second session two. Session two means moderate portion of the day. Okay. Like if a student feels biology, uh, chemistry is moderate for him, or some chapters, you can go with the chapter wise also. So some chapter is uh, moderately difficult for you. You can go with the same. Now repeat the same process as in the session one. Whatever you have, whatever you did over here. If this is a biology subject, then go with the NCRT reading. So do the same process as in the session one. Then instant revision of 15 minutes and break of 15 minutes. Very important. Okay. Implement this plan once you'll get to know how how good results it can give you. Then I must say, let's move on to the session three. Session three is the that portion where your energy is very low. Okay. Okay. So at this point of time, you'll be going with the easy session. When your energy is high, you'll go with the difficult session. Okay. You'll go with the biology. Okay. Usually 90% students feel biology is easy. So, so you will be starting with first you will do the instant revision, whatever you have. Uh, uh, revision of the lecture notes, whatever you have studied in the class. Then, then, then you'll start a proper NCRT reading of a proper chapter, dedicated chapter and questions as many as possible. Once you are done with this, like, like you have done in the session one, session two. So once you are done with this, then instant revision of 15 minutes and break of 15 minutes. So total of six hours. So this is how you guys are supposed to do the self-study apart from your classes. Okay. Now, my dear friends, implement this plan once you'll get the maximum results. Trust me, trust me. And six months, seven months is more than sufficient. I would say if you give your 100%, if you uh, remain consistent for the next seven months, okay? For a student who is not consistent, who has not that passion to enter the medical college, I would say one or two years is not enough for him. But if you are a consistent student, I must say six months is I would say sufficient for you to enter the medical college. That is for sure. Now, my dear friends, one more important thing I just want to say in this particular case, that is an Academy All India Test Series for NEET UG 2026. It is right now going on. Today is the first test and today's test is completely free of cost. Okay. That is at 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Okay. Now, my dear friends, now, my dear friends. So this test series contains, I would say, 25 tests. Okay. 10 minor tests, three major tests, six, we say subject wise, okay, full syllabus plus six full syllabus tests, okay. And you can see, or, or like you have strategy sessions over here, okay, free ELP, soft copy, video solutions, YouTube plus special classes, every single thing, best mentors learn from the educators who taught AIR 1, 14, 41, 54 plus, okay. So, and, and you can exactly see the link of this test series in the description below because test series plays the very important role when it comes to cracking any competitive exam. Okay. And when it comes to the NEET, test series has the immense role. You must basically go with the test, this test series. So, so link is in the description below. You can take it uh, right now. Okay. So thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. Take care and bye-bye.